Hello, I'm John Baker with another NX Quick Tip. Today we're going to talk about Checkmate. Checkmate is a collection of quality assurance tests that are built into NX and you can test parts, assemblies, drawings, and so on. Primarily it's used to validate uh, things like company standards, did I follow uh, you know, my prescribed standards, uh, have I followed best practices as defined by my company, uh, and I can just check to make sure that my models are actually valid and are suitable to be released uh, for downstream applications. So let's say for example today I have this very large part, it's a complicated part, there's over 400 features in this part, and I've got a series of tests that I would like to perform. Now I could go through and run these tests individually, you know, there are, there's, there's ways of analyzing things like the validity of the model and so on, but it'd be nice to just capture it in a, in a, in a test that I can just have set aside and just run whenever I need to let's say just before I release a part to production. So I'm going to go up to my uh, and set up my test. It's under our uh, tools uh, tab on, in, in NX9. And so it's going to be run against the current part. And I've already got some tests pre-set up here. I've got a tolerance test just to make sure everything was in tolerance. I've got one here for uh, checking whether all the sketches are fully constrained. That's a really a good modeling practice. There's over 40 sketches in this uh, part, so having to go through and check 40 different sketches to make sure that they're all fully constrained, um, you know, that that'd be a kind of a uh, you know kind of a waste of a lot of, of you know it took take an awful lot of time to do that. And I've got one here for just kind of doing a sanity check to kind of make sure that the body is is consistent. But I've heard recently that somebody has found some parts with some very small, what we call tiny faces, where one of the edges is smaller than the design tolerance or uh, modeling tolerance, which is really a poor practice because it can cause some uh, problems maybe downstream. The model might be valid as far as modeling is concerned, but it could be a problem you know, for other people. So I'm going to come up here to my modeling and I have a set of tests. And there's hundreds of tests in here. We've We've pre-set up probably the vast majority of the ones that you would normally probably want to use, we've already got in here. So I've got one under examine geometry. There's a large number of different tests I can do. But the one I want is tiny. So I'm just going to add that to my list. So now I've got four tests set up. So now let's just go ahead and execute them. So I run it. That was pretty quick. It came up right quick. So let's close this down and let's look at our results here. And so I see here are the four tests and the results. Three of them failed, but one passed. The consistency is okay, so that's not a problem. But we're having a problem with edge tolerances. So if I look at the edge tolerances and click on that, here's our little report that we have. And it says it found two edges that were out of specification. And we come down to the bottom here. We can kind of read down here. Here's what the test results is. And this is what the distance tolerance was checking for. It's basically saying that these parts, and you can read it up here, it says they are over the specified tolerance. In other words, they are created at a tolerance that was greater than 0 0.025, which is what we had set up as our standard. So we know that there's a problem with that area. And, uh, and that tiny one, the one we were, we, were, we were concerned about, let's take a look at the tiny. Yep, sure enough, there was one tiny object, and that's, um, double click on here, and it'll bring up the panel for it. And again, it's telling us that it found a tiny and again, it was uh, telling us that one aspect of that was below our modeling tolerance. And so this is a very quick way of doing it. As I said, we have, like I said, hundreds of, of pre-programmed uh, tests in here, but we also provide you with the tools so that you can create your own custom test for your particular organization, uh, whatever they might be, they can incorporate them in and just include them in with the standard test and just add them uh, to cover really whatever you could possibly think of. Thank you very much.